Man, I'm still sunburnt. That was a doozy. Whew. Just had a job interview. I just want to process it. You know, and for myself, these are things that I'm still working out. I mean, quitting a comfortable job with a wife and three kids, who I'm the sole breadwinner for, is a big swing. And I did that, confident in the idea that that would be the last company job I have, that I would make this work, I would go off on my own, and I would become a full-time feature filmmaker. It's three years later, and that hasn't happened. Um, and so I had to pivot first into taking freelance income just to sustain myself. I might have to pivot again and go back to a full-time job because of the failure of achieving sustainable full-time work on feature films. Just had a job interview. I just want to process it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll get the offer. And I'm just reflecting on it. Most of me is saying don't do it. Most of me doesn't want to do it. I don't want to give up the freedom. I'm trying to figure out if I'll be happy. You know, it's it's not a long-term commitment. One to two years. Two years, is really. Am I willing to put everything else on hold for those two years? To what degree can I continue doing other things in those two years? Do I go back to just grinding it out on lunches and evenings and weekends? You know, so everything in me is sort of doesn't want to have to do all that. But the other part of me is saying you're out of cushion, you're out of runway, you gave it three years. It's unsustainable, you're out of cushion, you have to take it. Do it, it'll be okay. Most of my friends are saying, take the job. I feel like I gotta turn it down. But then I'm like, what am I, why am I doing that? Are you crazy? Like, you can't get much broker than I am. I mean, you can, let's be real, you can, but not much. <laughs> All right, guys, should I take the job or not take the job? No. 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 Why? Because because if you like something, you should keep on doing it. What if I don't make money for a while? We'll make money at some point. Yeah, we'll make money of selling something like Pokemon or football. If you don't get any money, we'll give you money. Or we can sell some of our special cards that we love. Thanks, guys. Good advice. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I had that job interview on Friday. Over the weekend, I was pretty resolved to decline it. I definitely got to a place of being okay with taking a full-time job. Uh, I just want to make sure it's the right job, and I don't know if this is the right one. The reality is the next year looks like a lot of just freelance hustle for me um you know making features is the dream and i'm doing that but they take a long time and even the best case scenario with something like the next film which we're hopefully shooting this summer it, it could still be till next spring before that starts to convert into you know advances for me. So I thought about it and uh, I emailed him yesterday and I said would you guys consider just a one-year contract and I'd have to take a month off to shoot this film this summer. So I'm waiting to see what they say about that. If they say yes I feel I feel pretty good about per perhaps taking the work because I would just be trading that for other freelance work and you know I'd probably make more with less stress just committing to this job for a year and uh, it wouldn't impede my ability to make this next film premise 
and uh, I wouldn't have to give up a lot of what premise will hopefully net for me because that's going to take another year to convert into that anyway. So we'll see. We'll see what they say. And I feel in a good place. I feel okay with passing on it and just continuing on with freelance work as I've been doing. And uh, if they say, yeah, we'll let you just commit for a year and do a year contract and take a month off this summer, then I probably will feel okay about taking the job. So I feel in a good place. I feel at peace. It's a good place to be. Take me a long time to get here. <laughs> but uh, man, I'm learning the uh, emotional management is a big part of this job. Emotional management can really sort of make or break, I think, a career because it's really what determines our ability to ride things out, it determines our ability to accept defeat, accept the failure, accept the dry times, not get ahead of ourselves, not get in over our heads and just sort of be in it for the long haul, commit to the marathon. And, uh, so I'm, I'm grateful... If anything, this little this little test of this job has has taught me something about the emotional management that I've already been learning. You know, it's it's been almost a test of like, okay, I'm actually growing because I don't know if I, if I would have approached this so um, not emotionally neutral, but to a degree emotionally healthy. Hopefully, uh, had this been you know a few years ago, so. Uh, yeah, we'll see. So I talked to the company. We discussed sort of the considerations that I wanted to think about. And we concluded that this probably is not the job for me. Uh, taking a month off wasn't a stretch, but they really need someone to commit for two years. <laughs> Uh, and so my my year only commitment was something they couldn't really move forward with, and uh, so I'm not taking the job. Um, I feel great about it. I feel great. I'm at peace. I'm excited and energized to really dive in to my own projects, just on the on the path I was continuing on. And that's a good thing to sort of sense of where your energy is. Where, where do you feel energized when you think about um, a potential path for the year? What gives you life and energy and excitement and what sort of bogs you down? And I have, uh, as hard as it's been the last few years of just pushing this boulder up the mountain, trying to sustain my own income, provide for my family, as hard as it's been, as tumultuous as it's been, I have new energy to keep pushing forward. Lord willing, we'll be shooting our sci-fi thriller premise in June. And then I'm really hoping to shoot my next film as a director um, in the fall. But I'm excited to just be able to focus on those. And excited to take the freelance work that comes my way. Follow the peace, follow the energy. Appreciate the events that really teach us emotional health and emotional balance because that's been a work in progress for me. But I really feel like I went into this situation, this the, the idea of this job, with the right frame of mind and the right sort of emotional balance. And um, I feel like I made the right decision. Even, even talking to the guy who's going to hire me at the end of the call, he said, look, uh, I think you're making the right call. I think this is the right decision for you. And that was really encouraging. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm available for hire.